amongst the desert sands of Abu Dhabi, lies arguably the world's most expensive racetrack, Yas Marina Circuit, built at a reported cost of more than one billion US dollars. On debut in 2009, the UAE track was like a taste of the future, with a hotel straddling the track, a pit exit tunnel, and runoffs under grandstands. This weekend, we get another taste of the future, with the world champion finally crowned after the longest season in history. The favorite is Mercedes Nico Rosberg, a rejuvenated man this season. A new confidence helping him to fight teammate Lewis Hamilton and win. 12 points separate the pair into the final round, while just a podium place is enough to finally make it Rosberg's year and become the second world champion son of a world champion in history after Graham and Damon Hill. Hamilton arrives in the UAE on the back foot, but on top of his game. The last three straight wins in his pocket and sights set on a fourth crown that would equal him with Alain Prost and Sebastian Vettel. The reigning world champion knows Rosberg will have to hit trouble for a fourth world title. But the pair has had plenty of that this year, notoriously crashing out in Spain with more heavy contact in Austria. We have a great uh, rivalry, it's uh, a big battle um, <clears throat> all the time, every race out there very, very close, sometimes too close, unfortunately. Hamilton's also had his fair share of reliability issues, including ERS failures in qualifying in China and Russia, penalties for new power units in Belgium, and an engine blown in Malaysia while in the lead. The Brit has also been in Rosberg's shoes before, when he needed just a podium in Brazil 2007 to win the championship for former team McLaren. But gearbox issues dropped him down the order, enabling Ferrari's Kimi Raikkonen to win the race and title. This year, the tension is sky high, especially with Rosberg playing it safe at the last three races from Austin to Brazil. It's a recipe for disaster, with one mistake enough to destroy dreams of a maiden title. Lewis and Nico are doing exactly what they need to do at this point. So uh, Abu Dhabi is going to be a, just a nail biter for everyone, which is wonderful for, for Formula One. And for us, they're looking forward to watching it. 2016 will be the eighth time the event has been run. Sebastian Vettel is the most successful in Abu Dhabi with three wins. Lewis Hamilton has two for McLaren and Mercedes. Raikkonen and Rosberg the only other winners. At Yas Marina, the grid will also bid farewell to Williams' Felipe Massa, who retires from the sport on his 250th race start putting him eighth on the all-time list. McLaren's Jensen Button is off on a sabbatical, with the chance to return in 2018, should Fernando Alonso make that move to sports cars. Regardless of what happens this week in Abu Dhabi, the world champion will be a worthy one. 2016's historic 21-race season calendar, making the challenge tougher than ever. It's showtime in the UAE.